Hey, what's up, guys? I'm just doing a little bit of reloading, just 15 rounds of um, 223 target ammo before I head off to work for the day. Uh, this morning, I got some of this um, Hornady 75 grain AMAX that I'm going to be trying out for the first time. And I thought I'd show you um, how uh, I load this and some of the things to kind of keep in mind when you're loading a big. 223 bullet like this. Here's one round that's uh, ready to go. And you can see it's pretty long. And let me just show you real quick what it looks like in comparison to a couple of factory rounds. So here in the middle is the uh, XM193 55 grain uh, FMJ. The one with the green tip is the um, I believe it's the M855, 62 grain with a little steel tip penetrator, and you can clearly see just how much longer um, my 75 grain AMAX is in comparison to those two um, FMJ bullets. And then this does kind of present a problem when you're shooting it out of an AR because of the um, feeding, and I'll show you that in just a second here. Okay, so here is the M855 the 62 grain bullet and it fits perfectly uh, inside the magazine and it looks like there's even a little bit of room to spare before it touches the lip uh, the, on the front of the magazine. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in one of the 75 grain AMAXs and you'll see why um, this particular load has to be uh, shot as a single shot. Okay and then there you can see right the, uh, let me get that in focus for you That's the problem right there with these um, longer match grade bullets. The tip of that bullet is sticking out over the uh, lip of the magazine. So I think if it's, you know, the very top round, it shouldn't be a problem. But as soon as you go ahead and put another uh, cartridge on top of this, you're going to have feeding issues because it's going to get caught up right there. And this uh, load has an overall length of 2.390 inches, which is well above the uh, maximum regular length of 2.250. So if you're going to shoot the um, high-end bullets like this AMAX or the Burger bullets or the um, 77 grain Sierras, uh, well, I'm not sure about that, but like the 80 grains and above, not only do you need a rifle with the... Um, appropriate twist rate, usually one in eight inch or faster, um, but they have to be shot as single shot. Um, if you're worried about like uh, competition, it's usually not a problem because the um, service rifle competitions, are they, they know about this and it's usually um, a single shot. And they give you time to load and, and fire. Um, but yeah, if you're going to just be using it for plinking, it might be a little tiring because you're going to have to use it as a single shot only. But um, this bullet is supposed to be pretty good. It's got a very high ballistic coefficient, for, especially for a 223. The manual lists the BC as um, 0.435, which is quite high for um, a, a, a 0.224 caliber bullet like this. And let me just show you real quick just how big this bullet is in comparison to a 55 grain bullet. And I think this will really illustrate the point. So the one on the right there in my hand is a Nosler 55 grain ballistic tip. And the one with the red tip is the Amax. And you can just see how, how huge this bullet is in comparison to a, a more traditional um, 55 grain uh, bullet for the for the 223 Remington. Anyways, I uh, just thought it was a kind of an interesting little tidbit. Might help you guys that are into reloading. Um, if you want to shoot the big bullets, you may have to do it as a single shot. It's no big deal. Well, anyways, I hope you guys have a good weekend and stay tuned because um, I'll be posting some more videos in the very near future. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.